the Hellenic Regency. You see Kaiser yeah. Redux, make Byzantine, first try or give 50 subs, man. Under Georgios Kondilis. I don't even own this? Jesus. It's created a different country yet. Yes, mate. Under Georg Alexander von Müller. That's a German puppet bitch. Germany owned industry, which really destroys my ass. Austria destroys my ass. Thanks to our incredible war debts after the end of the Disastrous Weltkrieg, King Constantine signed a deal allowing German investors unfettered access to the Greek economy, which kind of sucks on us. Also, thanks to our incredible war, yeah, same with the Austrians. You should always do guns first, so you stop building the worst guns in the whole game. Obviously, research and construction speed. Yeah, that's my opener. Okay. Now, you're obviously gonna start with a Sif on 80% here. Yes, free Sifs, man. Yeah, oh. It's a nice focus tree. Ancient glories. Is this? Oh, wow, the purple phoenix rises. Okay, that's sick, man. This is where we're gonna go, guys. That's amazing. So I have to take prepare for war. War is coming to Greece. That we know to be true. If we attempt to avoid it, we will only be abandoning the millions of Greeks who do not live under Greek rule as they should. And thus, we must prepare ourselves for the inevitable. Looking at the front line of Greece, it looks like mountains makes mad sense, huh? Mountaineers. Let's have some fun. The goal is we need to beat Bulgaria, man. That has to happen. Should rush Mills to kill Bulgaria. I don't have fucking manpower, man. What am I gonna do with Mills? He died. Minus 4 stability, 150p gone. Thunderbolt Regency is gone. He fucking died. The NFA takes over. That's bad. I want the right wingers so I can become Byzantinia. And I need to let the monarchists win. Referendum on monarchy. The voting begins 70 days. Word has been sent out to former King Alexander, currently in exile, along with the rest of the royal family. The referendum on the future of the monarchy has begun. Already lines have been drawn with the pro-republicans and the pro-monarchists attempting to convince anyone and everyone of how to vote. It will be a difficult couple of months until the vote is actually held. The expectations are high that it will not be a peaceful time for Greece. Uh, monarchists on the street will allow them. Th that's not rigging. But I'm not suppressing the monarchists, that's for sure. Monarchist sympathies will be increased. People want the king back, because Black Monday is killing this country. Republican campaign. There are a number of advisors in the government growing nervous at the prospect of the monarchist victory. They're suggesting we should consider funding campaign of our own in favor of republicanism. Discourage this talk within our government. Monarchist sympathies will be increased. Monarchists are getting stronger. You guys want me to do that? Unions march in Thessalia. Crack down on them. Fuck this. Fuck the socialists, man. Ain't no socialists allowed in Greece. A Republican riot. Um, shut the Republicans down, making the monarchy super strong, even though the country is completely destroyed right now. Independence Day. 20 PP. Okay, once a year you get 20 PP. That's nice. Just like your mom gets 20 PP a year. Uh, oh, I just... I, guys, I need... Monarchists have the advantage, and now I'm rigging it in the favor of the Republic. I'm gonna listen to you. So this is how I get Metaxas. Okay, I rigged it for them. I'm getting my 3% research. Obviously very important on such a small nation. The voting begins. The referendum is rigged. There's a chance of this being discovered. The chances of the Republicans winning the referendum is all but guaranteed. Today, all throughout Greece, voting has begun on the referendum to determine the future of the Fourth Republic. King Alexander is on hand in Athens, having returned to the country. So I think the Republicans win now, but it's going to get exposed that he rigged it. So there will be a coup from Metaxas. Uh, the farming crisis. Let's get back Monday away. Pretty much just giving me a bunch of economical focuses. And I'm responding to the crisis. While the Greek economy saw strong industrial growth through the 19th century, it remains primarily orientated in agriculture. And thus, the sudden drop in agricultural exports has hit the country hard. Farmers are nearly at the point of writing, and thus addressing this crisis is the top of our gender. So Republicans won, and now the taxes will get mad. The question of the monarchy's future has been finally settled. The Fourth Republic will live on. I know Republic. Okay. Now, the rigging has been Covered and Metaxas is gonna coup. The Metaxas coup. Our worst fears have been realized. The attempt to rig the election in favor of Republicans has been discovered, with several government officials having gone public with the proof. Riots have spread throughout the country, and former General Ioannis Metaxas, who originally made the Metaxas sauce, by the way, has stepped in to take over. He and numerous army supporters have stormed Parliament, arresting government leaders and declaring Metaxas as the interim president. Minus sensibility, minus 200 pp. I mean, I can't get much worse. And Metaxas and his cabinet takes over the KTE, makes a uh, dictatorship, no more elections. And here is the sexy man with a great head, and I am a paternal autocrat, which now unlocks Byzantine and authoritarian Greece. That's nice. We have sick... Oh, I can do everything. Oh, I lost germany on bullshit. That's a big bonus. Nice. Democracy was a mistake. <laughs> because democracy basically means government by the people, of the people, for the people. But the people are retarded. 
The Greek nation cannot afford to be betrayed by weak republic and just any longer. New autocrator shall rise to govern this nation. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, I even got the Austrian money back. Good, good, good. Still have no money though. Alexandros Papagos. He's a good leader. I like him. The new Helen army, man. The new Helen army. The government will proclaim a national regeneration to cleanse the people of immorality and weakness and retake the legacies of Greece's past. Rebirth of a nation, man. Plus 10 core attack and defense. Okay, responding to the crisis. With the number of farmers left holding crops and nowhere to sell them, we are left with a choice. Either support them for the current year and encourage them to switch away from their reliance on exports or dig deep into our pockets and support them fully until the economic crisis has passed. I feel like I should help them out, eh? I'm helping them out. I'm helping them out. Oh, it even... This one gets bypassed. Why? Much of Greece's industry is owned by foreign, mainly in Germany and Austria. Oh, because I lost their debuff. With the financial crisis, many of these factories have begun to shut down their roads, expecting Greece to deal with political fallout until such a time as their economy recovers. With so many industrial workers left unpaid and out on the street, we must do something about this. Nationalized vital companies. Too many vital industries are ready to go bankrupt. Only the nation's government is organized and efficient enough to keep them afloat at least until the crisis is passed. And in the meantime, they can keep the economy afloat and Greeks employed. Makes sense to take that. Fixing back Monday and getting nationalized industry. King Pavlos, become the kingdom of Greece. It's pretty much all that does. But getting that resource slot is so fucking good. Greece is by right a kingdom, and the youngest of the three princes has learned a thing or two during his exile that makes him the perfect head of state to help bring the country into the future. Let us restore the kingdom, but with strong, with a strong monarch at the head, man. King Pavlos is back, and there he is, Pavlov the first. The art of propaganda. Just a bunch of basic bonuses, nothing crazy, 35 days. Uh, everyone in Greece has, has opinions. It's what makes this country fine, but it's also what has driven us apart. That's what opinions do to countries. The time has come to make sure that their opinions have something in common. That they all believe, as we do, that the unity will make us stronger. Dude, that's so true nowadays, man. That's how we still think nowadays. Wow, look at Napoleon Zervas, Alto. Wow, dude. You're a fucking mad lad, dude. First Legion... Warriors of Olympia. Wow, great name, guys. I know. Greek science, boy. Look at that. By supporting the founding of new universities and pl plumbing? Previously untouched depths of innovative research. I thought we were doing the plumbing. We may show the world that Greece is once again the hub of learning and education in the civilized world. Come on, it's about fucking beaches and wet rind. Greek science. Okay, let's get more PP, right? I gotta fix that. Five stability in public power. State is becoming orthodox. Elimico, polemico, nadifico. That sounds like like a song, man. Despacito, elimico, polimo, nadifico. That doesn't sound like someone should take it serious. Okay, I finished the national fodder focus tree, and we're actually we stabilized the country a bit. We'll just get that resource slot real quick. Getting that resource slot actually sounds sick, man. And then the two mills, that seems too good. Let's get the infantry bonus research into two mills. That seems too good to be true, man. Congress of Belgrade. Okay, we're joining the Belgrade Pact. The war is happening. Okay, we gotta get ready. I tried to prepare, man. I really did. Okay, the Bulgaria was starting. I gotta get ready for this. We're now in the Bel Belgrade Pact with Romania and Serbia. We gotta pull this off. Alexandros Sekalulupu. Oh shit, Balkan War, Balkan War. Let's take Florina. Let's take a look here at the supply hubs. There's none, dude. Wow. I don't know supply. Are you actually pushing me? I should be able to hold it. Man, hold. Come on, dude. Man, hold looks good. Last stand should help you, man. Come on. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm running the calf in here. And I gotta help Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki needs help, man. Oh, that could be big. If I could pull that off. That's even the supply hub. Yeah. Okay, that's for defense everywhere.
that Bulgaria's surrender limit might be very high. What? Bulgaria surrenders! Oh, did I get Tessa Lubumbi? Oh, it actually happened? I want to leave the battleground. The war's over. And I took, apparently, oh, I took uh, so, so Western and Eastern Salonika. If I get Creed, I actually can unite everything. But Creed is kind of a German puppet, man. Now that we have liberated Eastern Salonika, it is time to restore order there. So I get a bit fucked for a while, but after 140 days, they have almost no resistance anymore. We should totally do that. So Albania is a, I actually allowed to... I'm actually allowed to do that. Shall I rush them down? I got the Velvet Glove. I got the Legacy of Liberty. We're looking pretty good, man. We're looking strong. I probably just have to attack people now. We got to design our first basic division, which is a 20 with the Merachia Bezuku. And Bulgaria already joined a fuck. Commonwealth of Independent Nations for the Russians. Okay. Bulgaria's off the table. Yeah, they're all going to declare one Turkey, and then I could use that. Right, right. Albania just joined a faction. Why does everybody always have to join a motherfucking faction, dude? Yo, cool. If I actually manage to take Creed, I get uh, an event to get claims on everyone. But Santinian, Ancient Glory Tree, 5% popularity, 50 BP. Greece will look to its past and attempt to restore its former glory. Greece is an ancient nation defined by its glorious civilizations of eras long gone. The classical era, the Hellenic era, and the Roman era were crucial not only to the development of Greece, but the development of the entire Western world. Whilst the rest of the globe pursues modernity, we shall look to our past and restore the glories of our ancestors. It's time to rise up in the Balkans and show the Ottomans that we are to be taken serious. The government will proclaim a nation, national rejuvenation to cleanse the people of immorality and weakness and retake the legacies of Greece's past. You get the event, the rebirth of the nation, and you get national rebirth, which gives you population, division recovery, and 10 core attack and defense. National rebirth. National rebirth. Charisiste to Neo Kratos. Kratos is like the main character of video game, right? Nation of Faith. Population stuff? Cesaro Papism. Nation of Faith. Looks fucking good, man. It's an empire held an all powerful role as defender of the church. In these difficult times, we must serve the Lord the best we can. First Legion, Warriors of the Cross. Because we're actually kind of Christian motherfuckers. Orthodox. So I gotta go for fucking Turkey in a sec. Let's get Warrior Culture real quick, which gives me mad manpower. And then Turkey is not gonna be a joke. I gotta demobilize in a sec. The Comenian army also employed numerous blah, 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 blah. Like here, you get a shit ton of manpower. Plus 15% or but minus 2.5% population. But you get insane stats. Bro, there's no fucking way. I, I'm a sucker for this stuff, dude. The Byzantine youth. Fertile length civilization, five war support. And then I need to kind of prepare for it. Sublime Ottoman fuckboys. Dude, I need to, to take the bonuses, man. If I get course on Byzantine anyway, we're good. It is of the great importance that the values of our own state be preserved for future generations. Therefore, we must establish a national youth organization. <laughs> okay, we have the Hellenic youth. <laughs> the four centuries of vengeance. Strike all mortal enemies, declare war on the Ottoman Federation. It's time to reignite the Byzantine Ottoman Wars. We have not forgotten the crushing defeat of the Byzantine Ottoman Wars. Mm. 214 years of warfare resulted in the Eastern Roman Empire collapsing completely. The Ottomans took advantage of misrule and fighting. They will not have the same advantage this time. So we gotta get rid. I don't have any. There's only one attack here. So let's set up. If I can rush Constantinople. Iran is in the war, Egypt will join, he did join, and I need Najat to also join. No, okay, they're all invading, good, 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 this is good. So, we're waiting to see what happens in Turkey, and then we go in. Ah, this Turkey war was not gonna end for a while, man. Ah, I thought they'd break through, but now again, circled. I think after this, I'm preparing the war goal. I feel like actually preparing some naval invasions, because I'm probably just gonna get stuck in Istanbul again, like always. But these divisions are so bad, I don't know if they're gonna land anywhere. What the fuck? Why can I do this? Because I have no naval invasions researched. Exactly, Tommy K. Okay. Okay, they're breaking through. We're gonna have a turkey. We're gonna have a turkey. It's happening. It's happening. I can always stop the focus. Let's just go into it to have good timing. No, oh, stop the focus. Oh, God, Tommy. Dude, I'm declaring. Fuck this. No longer will I let them uh, rule over me. Let's fucking go, guys, man. Since the dawn of a lang civilization, our people have been under threat from the Eastern Hordes. That's how they call you Turkish people. Unbelievable. Yeah, you are weak sperm. You are weak sperm. This is the strong sperm. This is the Greek god. Okay, Greek god. Where? 
it be the gigantic Achaemenid Empire or the rapidly expanding Ottomans, the struggle for dependence has defined our history. Today marks the dawn of vengeance. We shall avenge our ancestors who defended the walls of Constantinople, who fought for Greek independence and rebelled the Turks once more during the World War. The valiant heroes of the past did not die in vain. The legacy will continue for our armies who already are marching towards the Ottoman front lines. Thank Retake you. Constantinople, gain claims on everything. When Constantinople fell in 1453, it marked the end of an era. The, one of the most important things ever in history, right? The second imperial city has been besieged many times, however, when the remnants of the Byzantine army fled it, would be the last time that the city would be under imperial control. That is until now the Ottomans are weak and we will take the city. Imagine that would have never happened, right? You would have a Christian Turkey nowadays, man. It's, it's crazy how history plays. Ah, this is gonna suck, dude. I actually, I can actually push over. Oh, that would be huge. Oh, we could actually do this, man. Keep it under attack. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Dude, if, if I actually pull this off, then the guy in chat who told me to never attack is the biggest. I could have gotten this ages ago. So dumb. Wow. Jesus, that's stupid. Restore order in Western Thracia. Let's do it first because it's a core. Western Thracia. Wait, that's here. Yeah, okay. And let me just go through some shit real quick. Wait, what? Oh, my whole army got. Wait, what? Uh, I can't make an army. I have. Wait, what? Okay. Tommy tries to play a game. Tommy, Tommy. You always fail us. Always some kind of a problem. Be your hearts of iron for games. But don't worry guys, I will finish the game for you and create the Byzantine Empire.